Hello everyone, my name is Jack Sorrell and today I'm going to show you how to homebrew your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.3. Before we start the tutorial, I'd like to let you know that I'm now on Patreon. Patreon is the best way to help me so I can make more videos. You can donate as little as £1 per video, or as much as you like, it's completely optional. And don't forget, no matter how much you donate, you will be featured in the next week's video. Head over to patreon.com slash for more information. Now let's get started. The first thing you have to do is open up system settings and check that your firmware version is on 11.3. If your 3DS is not on 11.3, check the description, it might still be compatible with this homebrew version. Note down your entire 3DS firmware version including the letter at the end. We'll need to use this later. Now remove your SD card from the 3DS. Depending on your 3DS model, the SD card can be at the side or in the back. The new 3DS and new 3DS XL have the SD card in the back. The normal 3DS and 3DS XL have their SD cards at one of the sides. Loosen the screws using a small screwdriver, then use your stylus to pop the back off. Push the SD card down like you would do with a game card and it will pop up. Now use an adapter to connect the SD card to your computer. Now on your computer, go to the Homebrew Launcher website which is linked below. Then download the Homebrew Starter Kit. Here you want to select your firmware version which you noted down from earlier. Select New if you have a new 3DS and select Old if you have an old 3DS. Now that you've entered your 3DS firmware version, click on Download Other App. Now go to the Soundtax website which is also linked below. Depending on the letter at the end of your 3DS firmware version, choose the correct region. For me, it's the letter E, so I'm going to choose Europe. Then select old or new 3DS depending on your 3DS model. By the way, Nintendo 2DS counts as old 3DS. Then click on download M4A. Now you should have these three files. Rename this.bin file to otherapp.bin. This is a .bin file so it will add the extension automatically. You don't need to type it. Now copy the m4a music file and the other app.bin file to the root of the 3ds SD card. Then copy the 3ds folder and boot.3dsx file to the root of the SD card too. Now eject the SD card and put it back into your 3DS.
Now on your 3DS, open the Nintendo 3DS Sound app. When it's finished loading, open up the SD card folder. And finally, play the music file inside. And that's it, you've now homebrewed your Nintendo 3DS on firmware version 11.3. I have lots of tutorials linked below showing you how to get emulators, custom themes and unlimited play coins using homebrew. Well, that's all for today. My name is Jack Sorrell and I'll see you next Sunday with a brand new video. If you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below and I'll feature your channel in the video if your idea gets chosen.